first thing you'll notice here as we enter the wine room is this beautiful quarter round display. Not only can you store large format bottles like uh, our customers down here, these are three liters, three liter bottles, but they're, it's an excellent place to display some decorative items, uh, decanters, that sort of thing. Uh, just makes a nice finished end to uh, a length or a run. At the bottom, so for the most part, these are 750 milliliter bottle openings. Uh, these openings are three and three quarter inch by three and three quarter inch, so they will accommodate just about any size bottle into the opening, including standard champagnes, California blue chips, Oregon Pinots. Just below the, the little cubby holes, if you will, we've got a high reveal display row. These are pitched at a 15 degree angle. So not only does it allow you to show off some of your favorite labels, but it's a good management tool because you can store like wines above and below the display area. At the very bottom, we created um, custom size openings for the wood cases that he, he likes to uh, collect and display. And we, as we pan towards the back of the wine room here, you can see we had some odd kind of corners and turns we had to make, and so our, our installer, Kyle, did a great job with uh, keeping that continuity and that flow. So as we come to the right side of the wall, it's more of the same thing, single bottle storage openings, high reveal display, but in this particular wall, just below the display row, we've got a horizontal label forward uh, display. Depending on the size of the bottle, this particular bottle here is a, a Magnum, a 1.5 liter, but if you were storing small Bordeaux style bottles, you could store easily three deep in this particular opening. So a total of six bottles could be potentially stored in this area. Just below the uh, horizontal display, we've got some bulk or a diamond bin, if you will, for bulk storage. This is a great way to manage your wines for those of you who buy in 12, you know, six packs, 12, 12 lots, that sort of thing. This is our regular, what we call our regular arch. It's got a beautiful, what I call a wiggle board effect or appearance, solid tabletop. Uh, we create an opening for puck lights, and in this case, just above the, the arch, we've got uh, another horizontal opening for large format displays. Again, as you can see, the bottle rests inside a shelf so that the bottles can't just fall out and roll out. We have some cubicles, or we call them cubbies, that we have as well. You could put some case storage in there, or you can just put the bottles as you see. We have the reveals, again, with the lighting that's coming down. And this is something unique that we're starting to do a lot more. This is our Cork Ford 750s. But instead of doing the old style 750s, where there's kind of the traditional wine racks. We're now making them more into that Y to make it have a really good look. Again, cork forward here, make sure that the bottles cannot fall out. And then case storage. So you can see the cases from walking into the house or from the kitchen. You can see also the case storage. We built a small table here, tasting table, open a bottle. You know, obviously decant something in there as well. And then as we go into back in the cellar again, we kind of cut Mimic, uh, copycat or mimic everything we did on the other side. Again, horizontal displays to show in the dining room. And again, more reveals, cubicles, and the Y750s to get a little bit more of a better look, more of a modern look than just the old cork forward lattice that we have in there. Mm -hmm. 